Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. I'm making a video today on System Restore. Uh, why it's important, why you may want to use it. Um, basically what it is, is it takes your computer's uh, system files back to an earlier point without changing your personal files. It just contains uh, some of the registry settings and it will revert them back. Um, reasons you may want to use it are, say you're installing a software, you're not sure it's going to work on your computer or may corrupt something, you want to go ahead and create a restore point. Also, maybe installing a driver or even uh, doing a Windows update and it corrupted your system. Well, you can revert back to the earlier point before it did that and figure out what's causing the uh, problem. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to create those restore points in Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. So right now we're currently in Windows 7. To go ahead and get to the uh, part we want to get to is just click on the Start button, go to Computer, do a right-click, go to Properties, and under under the uh, system information here go to system protection on the left side that's going to bring up where we want to navigate to and here's going to give us the options where we can actually go to the system restore to restore back to an earlier point uh, we can configure and we can create the restore point so it's really simple in Windows 7 if I just click create I can go ahead and give that restore point a name click create it's going to take several minutes and it's just going to tell me it successfully created the restore point so now I can go ahead and proceed with what I want to do if I click on the configure button, it gives me the options here to uh, allocate a certain amount of disk space for the uh, restore, for the restore points. So if I just move the slider here across, I can you know give it a lot of space or the little uh, spaces I want to give it. And if I click the delete button, uh, say if I have a lot of restore points and I'm trying to save free up some space, uh, by clicking the delete, you can't delete individual restore points, but you can delete all of them or all but the most recent. Uh, so that's what I suggest if you're going to clear it out, just clear all but the most recent. Uh, maybe just create a restore point and then go and clear the rest of them out. So that's uh, that's the options here in Windows 7. It's really simple. Windows Vista is going to be really similar so we'll go ahead and uh, navigate to our Vista system. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and uh, click on the start button. Do a right click on computer. Go to properties do the same exact thing where I click system protection hit continue as you can see here we have the system restore button again where we can activate the restore point uh, we can go ahead and click create it's going to be the same thing as in Windows 7 where I can just type a name create the restore point it's going to take a couple minutes uh, but as you can see there's no configure button so in Windows Vista they made it a little bit trickier to actually configure the size of the uh, amount of space I want to allocate for system protection so in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and activate an elevated command prompt. So we're going to click on the Start button, go to All Programs, click on the Accessories folder, do a right-click where it says Command Prompt, and a Run as Administrator. And uh, just type in the commands that I type in here. I'm going to activate a certain one, V-S-S-A-D-M-I-N, space, forward slash, question mark, Enter and we want to go ahead and see the size of the um, of the allocated space for system protection right now so we're going to type in v s s a d m i n space l i s t for list space and the word shadow storage with no space so there's just a space between the first word and after list hit enter as you can see here we have uh, nine gigabytes allocated for uh, system restore. Let's say I just want I want to give it more space because I want to create more restore points. Uh, that's where it gets tricky in Windows Vista. So just follow here. Type in V S S A D M I N space the word resize resize space shadow storage space forward slash on equals C because it's on my C drive forward slash four equals C and forward slash max size and here's where you're gonna decide how big you wanna make it um, right now we're gonna do we and you have to write it in megabytes so we're gonna go ahead and write uh, do 15,000 megabytes to up it we want to change it we want to give it a uh, more space so hit enter 
As you can see, it says successfully resize the shadow copy storage as association. In order to check to make sure that it did work, we'll go ahead and type in BSSADMIN list shadow storage. There it is. We have uh, approximately almost 15 gigabytes allocated instead of the old uh, almost 10 gigabytes allocated. So it's a little bit trickier. Uh, but as long as you type in that command properly, you can go ahead and resize it. Uh, why they did that, I don't know. As you can see in Windows 7, it's really simple. Just move uh, a slider back and forth. So now we have more space allocated for System Restore. Everything else is practically the same as in Windows 7. So now we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Windows XP. In Windows XP, we're going to go ahead and click the, uh, the Start button, the one that actually says Start instead of just the Windows icon. We'll go to All Programs, navigate to the Accessories folder, System Tools, and go ahead and click on System Restore. And here's where I can go ahead and put my system back to an earlier restore point if something got screwed up. I can go ahead and create a restore point, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Before we do that, on the left side here where it says System Restore Settings, if I click on that, here's where I can resize the uh, disk space usage for system protection. So it's a little bit different in XP. Windows Vista, Windows 7 is practically about the same way. Or ex actually, changing the storage is different in all three. Uh, but this is going to be the most similar to Windows 7, where you can just slide the thing over. That's really simple. So remember, you can also get to that by clicking on the Start button, Computer, Properties and go to System Restore and there it is right there. You can also turn the System Restore off here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and proceed by creating a restore point in Windows XP. We're going to just name this uh, test restore point. Just name it whatever you want. Hit create. And there it is. Restore point created. It's got today's date, the time it was created. Go back to close. I can go to home. I can either restore. But that's it. That basically concludes how to create a restore point, how to resize it, how to turn on and off, how to activate in uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. Of the three, Windows Vista is by far the trickiest if you want to resize. Um, also, if you want to, de to delete, uh, you just got to know that you cannot delete individual points, but you can delete all or all but the most recent. So if you're going to go ahead and clear all those out, definitely suggest at least creating a restore point and then just wiping the rest of them out. So that concludes this video. I hope you found this helpful and um, showing you all three ways to create a restore point in all three operating systems.